desiccating peas today. It's August 3rd today and the peas are ready to desiccate. I'm just switching nozzles on the sprayer. I still have the uh, twin jet nozzles on, switching to my browns for, for 10 gallons. My dad just went to top up the water. I have to get some chemical organized. Uh, but the peas are ready. It's supposed to be calm out all day. Just have three tanks to spray. Check my book. Last year, I sprayed them on July 28th. But that was really early. Last year was so dry and a bit of a write-off. So the peas are always first to desiccate. It should be a good day. Wheat is starting to turn that golden color. Not that much green left in it. That will be next. Maybe even starting next week, start desiccating that. And then the canola is a touch later. There's quite a few pods in there. It's all done flowering, but I'll desiccate this. Also, it's ground up in heat, but it has to uh, mature quite a bit more than it is already. It's still pretty green. And here are the peas. So they're getting pretty ripe. Still some green patches just kind of in the ditch and hollows. So this dust can will dry those down for more even maturity and also dry down um, the kochia and the weeds. So we can put those through the combine. So I got to follow my track when I was in here about a month ago spraying uh, fungicide. So this is where I went in. So we're going to follow that track best we can. The book says spray when the pods are 70 to 80% brown. I'd say we're there. Let's go take a closer look. Yeah, like a lot of these pods are pretty ripe already. They're brown, but they're still soft. So these will pretty much mature on their own. It's, it's just the green guys we're trying to even up. And then a little bit of weeds make it a little bit easier threshing. But the stand looks pretty good actually. There's a lot of plants here, decent amount of pods, with the peas having anywhere from three to probably seven or eight peas in a pod, which is pretty good. A very ballpark yield estimate is um, so, say there's you average four peas in a pod, it'll go 40. So this one has, I think there was five. So yeah, we're, we're hoping for 30, but some areas will be a little bit more. Some areas might be a little bit less, but not too bad of a pea stand here. One thing with my auto boom, I have it on soil right now. Nope, I have it on hybrid. So pre-burn, I have it on soil because there's no plants. Uh, usually when I'm doing wheat, I have it on crop because it's it's detecting the wheat. But I think we're going to leave it on hybrid. But I don't want my booms dipping into the crop. Let's try this. Okay, we're off to the races. Just gotta do my headline pass here. And then I'm using my same line as during fungicide. So it should drive in the track. I might have to nudge it a bit, but it should be pretty close. I have it straight at, straight at north and south, zero degrees. But we're gonna look at what these peas look like. Yeah, I think they're looking pretty good. Obviously there's some green in the hollows, but we can't wait for those. We'll be waiting until October. So we're gonna go ahead and keep spraying this. I think it's plenty right. Just trying to drive in my track here. I don't know if I'll see like a line 
or a difference from the sprayer from where I stopped spraying the fungicide, but maybe in the, once I get in the combine, in the yield monitor, you'd, you'd see something. These look a lot better than I thought. There's actually a lot of pods and they're standing really well a lot of the time. Um, they get kind of like top heavy and fall over and, and make combining a real pain, but they're standing really good. So hopefully they can keep standing for a little while longer. The harvest interval when spraying heat is three days, which means say you spray the peas when they're really ripe, you have to wait at least three days before you harvest them. It's gonna be at least that, probably, probably 10 to 14 days for us. Um, just because of waiting for these green patches to dry down. So it won't be, won't be that three days for sure. Everywhere, I'd say. I 
initially said I was hoping for 30. I think we'd be above that. I hope we'd be above that, but they, they look pretty good. About 13 acres left, not 10. Pretty good guess though. This ditch is actually fairly sharp. Gator still beats any yard sprayer. Gotta keep the weeds down. Keep the yard looking fresh. Hitting a power pole isn't that bad. If you hit a bin, that could do some damage. Can I fit through there? I don't think so. I cannot fit through. I fit between the Darmani bins. Oh yeah, lots of room. Thanks for watching.